In the early 2010s, it seemed like every manufacturer around was pushing their new 3D TV on consumers, promising it was the future and the natural successor to high definition. By 2016, 3D TVs had mostly stopped being produced and were nowhere to be found in shops a year later. So why did 3D TVs fail to take off and will they ever make a comeback? That's what we're going to have a look at in this video. Please do subscribe if you haven't already, it really helps this small channel grow. One of the main reasons 3D TVs failed to gain mainstream adoption was their price. 3D TVs were typically more expensive than their non-3D counterparts. Additionally, consumers needed to purchase 3D glasses and compatible Blu-ray players, which further added to the overall cost. A TV, four pairs of glasses and a 3D Blu-ray player could easily cost over $2,000 depending on the models chosen. Couple this price with the scarcity of 3D content and it becomes a very hard sell. There was a limited amount of 3D content available including movies, TV shows and broadcasts. While some 3D Blu-ray players and occasional broadcasts were available, the lack of consistent and compelling 3D content hindered consumer interest. Eye strain and general discomfort were also big factors. Many viewers reported experiencing eye strain, headaches and even nausea after watching 3D content for extended periods. Some users mentioned only being able to comfortably view 3D content for an hour at most before getting headaches, making an average film unwatchable to some. A final and perhaps most significant reason for the failure of 3D TVs was the need for 3D glasses in general. It deterred casual viewing and was particularly problematic for those who already wore regular glasses. No one wants to have to wear something on their face just to get the most out of their TV. So will 3D TVs ever make a comeback? It's very unlikely but not impossible. Development is already well underway for glasses-free 3D monitors which would eliminate one of the biggest reasons for 3D TVs not taking off. Without content support and a reasonable price though, I don't believe we'll see 3D TVs take over in the future like some people once thought they would. Did you ever own a 3D TV and would you like to see them make a comeback? Let me know down in the comments and please do subscribe if you've enjoyed this video. And thanks for watching.